Hello, uh, this is Gina, AKA Skin Cocaine, and I am one half of the Yarn Therapists. I am in Blacksburg, Virginia, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, and I am an indie dyer, and I'm just checking in to show you what I've been working on and uh, some of the things I've been knitting, some of the things I've been dyeing, and thought maybe you might be interested in seeing some of that stuff. So I'm gonna start with some of my whips. Um, do I wanna start with whips? No, I'm gonna start with some finished objects. I'm gonna start with uh, something that my, my sidekick, Katie Girl Knits, who typically is filming this podcast with me, one of my co-hosts, she designed the Zando cowl. And of course, you know, none of our ends are woven in. This is a typical, typical thing with us. But I love this cowl. It uses two skeins of my Wanton Worsted. This is the chocolate cherry colorway and the uh, cream color colorway. And this is just a great, great cowl. It's very luxurious and looks great with lots of things. Looks great under a jacket. I really love that. Um, so that got finished. It's Sando Cowl. And one of her previous designs, which was a really big hit, people really love this, was the Lavender U. So we had gone to, Katie and I had gone to Vogue Knitting Live this year in New York, and we, and, uh, we stopped by Karen at Do You Knit, and she has a line of yarn called um, You La La, and she does that with Fashion School Dropout. And they had this beautiful yarn using the slubby yarn and a mohair and she knit it together. And so I of course wanted to get in on the action. This is this is called Lavender U. And so I, I dyed a bunch of yarn um, for this cowl. Uh, I dyed up a bunch of my Sexy Slub and my Surrey Cloud. And I'll show you some of those colors. But, um, isn't this beautiful? It's very elegant. I love it. So I dyed up some of the slub and matching Surrey. So I've got some, let's see, everything is falling off my chair here. And the mohair is getting in my nose. Okay, so like here's my sexy slub on the uh, special, which is 30 different colors on a skein. So that's the uh, sexy slub special. And then you pair it back with, for the Lavender U cow, you pair it back with the, the Surrey. So this is my Surrey and it's getting blown out a little bit. It's much richer. Uh, but you, you pair those together. It just takes one skein of the slub and one skein of the mohair. And you can uh, get that pattern. Um, I put a link underneath that you can just uh, go and click on that and get the pattern. And then I will have kits on my website, which is skincocaine.com. So I have the special. And then I have... Blue Ridge. So I live in the Blue Ridge Mountains, so I'm very inspired by the mountains. And uh, that's one of the main reasons I love living here is the mountains, actually. Uh, this is Blue Ridge. Yeah, it's definitely getting blown out. But And this is the slub, the matching slub together. Blue Ridge. And then I have Pinky Swear. It's more that color because the closer I bring it, the more it gets blown out. So it's definitely more that color. And I love, can I just tell you how much I love, 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 love 
my glamping colorway. This is glamping. So this is like really dark navy and some oranges. And so I've got it on both. Super pretty. I don't know. This I just find this color really sophisticated. I just really love it. So I have that. And then I have uh, Bubbly. And Bubbly has, believe it or not, some blue in there. It has gray. It has a gorgeous, like, cinnamon, rosy color. I adore this color. In fact, I'm knitting a Sorrel out of this right now, and I'm just, I'm dying. I'm loving it so much. And then my London Fog colorway. I'm trying to think if I have like my best selling colorway right now. Like I've done a couple trunk shows since I've last recorded and here it is on here it is on my what is this? Lux fingering. Um it's a really subtle colorway and it has lots of neat colors but it's very neutral so like I'm wearing this sort of oatmeal color it's very neutrally sophisticated elegant colorway London fog is what this is called so I have that in the slub also and the mohair I don't know where my slub is right now but I have it and yeah that's it for those and then um I have been, I, I got inspired at Vogue. Like one of the reasons that I went to Vogue, I didn't really need to go to buy yarn because I didn't really, I don't need yarn. I go mainly just to be inspired and see what other uh, people are doing. And I saw some yarn there uh, that just really sort of struck me. Like this is the kind of yarn I want in my life. So I could either buy it in sweater quantities from this person and pay retail, or I could figure out how she did it and I could do it myself. And that's exactly what I did. So this is my iconic colorway and it is a solid black, but it has these white speckles all the way through it. And what that will do is it creates like an all over kind of random speckle. But I could do this, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking about all of the combinations. Like I love a mustard color as an accent. So I'm thinking that I might dye this game mustard and then dip it in the black and then I'll get mustard speckles on the skein. And this is not an original thought. I know someone has done, I know I've seen that somewhere, but this, but it just, I wanna make everything in this. I wanna make sweaters, I wanna make, oh my gosh, I wanna make everything in it. I have a hat that I'm doing, I'll show you. I can't. You know, that's the thing about yarn is it's, it tangles up, it's everywhere. I mean, even my earbuds are always tangled up, right? Okay, so this is it knitted up. I'm making a hat for my daughter, which I don't know why I'm making it for her because I really want this. But, and it's too tight. Well, that's, it's too tight, but. Um, I mean, imagine, imagine a sweater that you would just put on and wear with everything. So I'm gearing up to really ton this in and this is really labor intensive can i just tell you to get this this yarn it's it's a pain in the patootie for sure but it's worth it in the end but i want a cardigan out of it i want a tank top probably i want everything out of this yarn any kind of like classic Classic cardigan, classic pullover. That's what I want. I'm gonna do it in all the weights. I want socks out of it. Oh my God, socks. And I think I actually dyed some sock yarn. I'm looking around my office. Oh, if you could see what my office looks like right now. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. 
it's just a lot. Um, okay, so that's iconic. That's the colorway iconic. Um, I'm doing, all right, let's sort of go into whips. I'm making the cat love hat. And I'm loving it. <laughs> This is where I am. This is kind of loose. This is more loose, but um, I'm loving this. And I'm doing this out of my, like, jet black. Jet black, so it's completely solid. There's no tonality, nothing. Because sometimes, I don't know, I just don't, I don't want tonality in every single skein that I have. I mean, I mostly like tonality because I'm a hand dyer, but in general, I don't. Not, but I'm pairing that back with, um, this is my, um, what is this called? I want to say flesh, but that's not what I called it. It's not called flesh. Blush. It's called blush. So my jet black and my blush, and there will be kits for this down below if you want to make um the cat love hat which i highly recommend it is such a cute hat i love this i mean this is like a neutral i love it love it and i'm doing the it's another whip here i'm doing the waves of change by uh, Denise, this is who she is, and I'm in the middle of a row, so you can't see what it looks like, uh, but that is a top-down raglan, you can kind of see, I haven't separated for the sleeves yet, so it makes it really hard for me to show you what it looks like, but it's, it's essentially a, uh, yeah, this is ridiculous, you can't see what this looks like at all, but it's a, it's a top-down raglan, and it's sort of, you know, you do it for a certain number of rows, and then you do, um, you know, knitting on the other side, and you get that nice pearl ridge, and the whole thing is is pearl ridges all the way down. It's a classic raglan, very sweet, but it's made with like a, a chunky yarn, so I'm holding two of my Hoyt worsted together to get that. And my Hoyt Worsted is a uh, non super, hundred percent non super wash wool. So it's a uh, which I love. I mean, I love all yarn. So I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them all. But I really particularly love the feel of this. So I, you know, I'm cruising along, cruising along. But but really, I'm telling you that the project that is just like I just threw all my projects aside. And I, um, I just want to knit this, this pattern just every day, all day long. I can't get enough of it. And it is slow going. So I'm going to show you what that is because I left it in the other room. Okay. So this project just makes me so happy. I can't even tell you. I'm just. I'm dying. It's the sorrel pattern. Sorrel, sorrel, I don't know what it's called, but I cannot stand it. It is so gorgeous. And it's out of my bubbly colorway. And this is the yoke. So it's, um, but it, I'm using, I'm using my Lux, my Lux fingering with my Surrey Cloud in the bubbly colorway. So here it is. And here is what it looks like. I like to wind them together. I don't know why I just, I like to see what they look like when they're wound together. So this is the um, bubbly colorway on my Lux fingering and my Surrey cloud. And that's what I'm making the sorrel out of. And I just could not love this project more. I, I'm just absolutely captivated. I'm, I'm dying. I'm just dying of happiness over here. And so you say, okay, 
well, then you're good. Then you're going to just be working on that and nothing else. Well, no, 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 no. I actually have got another project that is just my fingers are itching to cast on. I mean, I have severe, severe cast on itis, start itis, whatever you want to call it, for which there is no cure. I am non monogamous. I want more, more, more. I can never get enough. And I think it may be just the fact that I just get, when I get an idea and I just have to cast on, and I think that a lot of it has to do with, um, I'm, endorphins are just, I'm just all about endorphins. That's why I run every day. I mean, like to take baths and eat chocolate and all of that. It, I like sex, you know, I mean, all of that. I like endorphins. I like the little brain chemicals that come out and I like to do it naturally. I don't like to do it with pills so or alcohol. So uh, I just, I, I get a rush when I think about starting a new project or starting a new book or it's, oh, it's rough, but so no, I have a whole, I have, I have a queue a mile long, but then there's always the ones that are kind of like right there bubbling. So could I just focus on knitting the sorrel or the sorrel and, and not cast another thing on? Cause I have six other projects going a weekend, two weekenders. Um, I show, I showed you a bunch of hats. I mean, over there, there's a lot of projects, but I mean, I must have 50. I want to say 50 but I'm gonna cast on another. So I have a new colorway and I have it right now on my on my hot worsted, which is my non-super wash. This is a uh, Louboutin, which sadly I cannot wear Louboutins anymore. Uh, I can't, I can't walk in them anymore. I just, I can't. I look like a man in heels. So this is, uh, this along with my blush, and I'm gonna make the papa by uh, by Junko. I'm gonna make the papa. I'm gonna wind my yarn today, and I'm gonna get started on that. So you know, if I could just focus on one project, then I wouldn't. I would actually get something done. See, I rarely get things done because I get so distracted. So. This is a really beautiful kind of blue red. You know, there's orange reds and blue reds. This is more blue. And I can't. I'm powerless. I'm powerless. I can't, I can't stop. So that's like a quick update. Um, I think the next time that you'll see me is going to be, um, I am doing a trunk show at the Knitting Coop in Salem, Virginia. That's March 28th. I'd love for you to join me. I'm going to be there with Katie Girl Knits and uh, possibly Stephanie, who was with me at Virginia Beach. She's probably going to be there hanging around too, stirring up trouble. But uh, we'd love to see you there. Um, anything that you saw today that you like, you can get on my website. Um, it's still floating in the air. Uh, you can get on my website. Um, so yeah, that's the next time that you're going to see us. Um, I'm reading this right now. I want to show you books I'm reading. This is Big Magic. I just started this. This is by the woman, Elizabeth Gilbert, that wrote uh, Eat, Pray, Love, which I actually hated that book. And I don't know why I hated it so much, but it bugged me. And the movie bugged me even more. Just bugged me. Uh, but I'm really liking this book. And, and I'm not very far into it, but what I am learning about is I'm learning sort of what all creatives kind of deal with and that is that it's um it takes a lot of courage to be creative and put your 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 stuff out there and uh and, and it really is it's um it's very uh nerve-wracking to uh put out your this the stuff brewing inside of you and um and so, but again, I just started. So I, I'm very curious to hear what she has to say about that. She talks about ideas that sometimes you have a really great idea, but then somebody steals it 
and maybe like advances it and maybe develops it further. And I can think of many things just in this industry where maybe I had a good idea and I started it, but somebody really took it further. And, and I feel, you know, at, at first I could feel myself like, that's my idea. But then, but then I didn't develop it further. You know, they did and I didn't. And so I have to kind of, re you have to kind of relinquish and realize that we're all creatives. We're all coming up with ideas and things that we want to do. And it's the people that really like implement them, like just take, you know, the, take the reins and go for it and put themselves out there. And then there's people that have these ideas and they're just like, and they see people coming, you know, having similar ideas and they're, and you can feel kind of angry, but that we shouldn't be angry. We should, and not even angry with ourselves. We just, either we do it or we don't. And if the ideas percolate all over, then we just need to like be zen about it and just let it go. And there'll be more ideas. There'll be more ideas coming. And, uh, you know, like this was not, this was, this iconic was not my idea. I saw it somewhere else. Um, now, whether I take it further, you know, and like my special that has all those colors, I could very easily take my special, dye it, and then dip it in black. And so there'd be multicolored speckles all over it. I could do that. I haven't seen anyone do that yet. I could do that. But then again, maybe it's too much work and I don't want to do it. And then somebody else will do it. So, yeah, so that's it for now. This is a little, little quick one. Just wanted to show you some of my stuff. So again, I uh, hope you enjoy this little short and sweet and uh, I will see you soon. And thank you for joining me. And the next time you see me, I'll be with Katie Girl Knits. So have a great day. Bye.